This video is designed to teach you about the two major kinds of cell types. There are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. To make this kind of simple, uh, eukaryotic cells are a little bit bigger and more complicated. One way that I always remember this is that you are made of eukaryotic cells. So eukaryotic cells are much bigger. One thing you can see, this is all measured in micrometers. These are going to be somewhere between 10 and 100 micrometers whereas prokaryotic cells are going to be much smaller, so be 0.1 to 10 uh, micrometers. Now, if we're looking at the eukaryotic cell types, this would be an example of something we would see for both plant and animal cells on this side. Whereas the other side, um, the prokaryotic cells, these are all going to be bacteria. So those are our two main categories here. And then there's other things. There's like uh, fungi, other things on this side. But it's mostly plant and animal cells on the right. So the uh, eukaryotic cells are more complicated. You can see on the inside of them, they've got all the different little organelles that we're going to talk about. It's got the nucleus, it's got the mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum around the outside there. Whereas the inside of the prokaryotic cell is very simple. You can see there are some things they do have in common. I mentioned DNA. Uh, the DNA in eukaryotic cells is inside the nucleus. The DNA in the prokaryotic cell is just kind of on the inside of the cell itself. It's kind of scattered everywhere. It doesn't have as much organization as the eukaryotic cell has. Uh, they both have cytoplasm, which is the material that makes up the inside of the cell. It's mostly water. It's where a lot of the nutrients and things are moved around. Uh, they both have plasma membranes. We'll call this the cell membrane around the outside. Uh, on this one, it's just inside of the sort of protein capsule that goes around the outside of the bacteria. Uh, another one that's located in both of them are the ribosomes. This is big. It's actually the only organelle that both of them share are the ribosomes, which is what's making the proteins. You can see the little dots in there are the ribosomes on the inside of that prokaryotic cell. One simple way of remembering a difference between these is the idea that pro in prokaryotic means no, so no nucleus. And you, for eukaryotic, means true. I cannot take credit for this. If any of you guys know, this guy, Mr. Marsteller, uh, this, is, this is his. So we've got pro means no, so there's no nucleus, and then you means true. This is an example of a cell that has a true nucleus. This is a simple trick that will help you remember the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So remember, all credit goes to Mr. Marsteller for this one, shamelessly stealing that from him and uh, keeping that one alive in his absence. So as always, thank you for watching the video, and I hope you learned something.